Welcome back to Headlines Now. An Argentine team bet out a side from neighboring Uruguay to become the gay football men's champions of the world. The eight-day tournament which took place in Mexico City culminated in a final match between the traditional South American rivals that saw the Argentines thrash the rivals 6 for 0. More than 20 teams and hundreds of players from the countries such as Australia, England and several countries took part. El Mundial me pareció, podría haber sido un poquito más competitivo, digamos, eh, esto en sí no es un Mundial, nosotros no nos cerramos a un Mundial homosexual, eh, acá nosotros estamos en la lucha contra el, el para que nos terminen de aceptar y, y que nos consideren una persona normal, porque tengamos distintos gustos en sí sexuales, podemos decir, eh, no significa que no podamos jugar al fútbol. For all you football fans out there, out there, the biggest question at the moment has to be just who's going to win the Euro 2012? Well, if your mind is excised by that question, there may be a help at this time. Shahrukh and Shanti have picked their winner of today's match. How did they do it? Well, Shahrukh and Shanti are elephants and uh, act as a saucer oracle in the Hamburg in Germany. And they picked Germany as the winner of tonight's highly anticipated match between Germany and Portugal. The Rock of Ages premiere was met with screaming fans in Los Angeles with stars gearing up to see the rock and roll music film. Tom Cruise, Katrina Zeta-Jones, Alec Baldwin, Julian Haw were just few of the actors on the carpet before the movie started. Based on the Broadway musical of the same name, Rock of Ages lovingly spoofs the hard rock and the metal era of 1980s. Well, there were no bad parts, you know. I mean, making a movie, there are no bad parts. There's challenges, there's... Uh, it was really fun because I got, look, I trained for five hours, over five hours a day to learn how to sing and hours of dancing for many months. And, and you know, worked with Adam and uh, John, you know, on the character, to develop the character. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to be on a movie set. I'll be shooting uh, Oblivion. And so we're going to be shooting in Iceland on that day and we'll have a probably big party with the crew, you know. After a five-year break, Spider-Man returns to the big scene with a new lead, a fresh story and three dimensions. T talking over the role of Peter Parker and the amazing Spider-Man is British actor Andrew Garfield, who said the first time he put on the suit, it was difficult to view himself as his childhood hero. The new chapter of Spider-Man shows a side of Parker that has never been told. The film begins by showing Parker's journey from an orphan to a teen on search to find his missing parents. In the process, he ends up finding himself and love when he meets Gwen Stacy, played by his real-life girlfriend, Emma Stone. The amazing Spider-Man hits theaters on July 3rd. Hey, help me! My kid is trapped! <laughs> I think when I first put it on it was hard um, because it was just like, I don't know, like the design wasn't finished yet and I kind of looked awkward, <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh god, they've made the wrong choice um, in, in actor. Um, so, 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 but then of course, like as, as they figured it out and they, you know, made it more applicable to my body, it was, it, it became um, really exciting. And that's the end of this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDTV Hindu for more news and updates.